Um, so I'm, my name is Jeff. I work with Aqualogic Water Consulting. We do water treatment. Uh, right now I'm testing a chill loop. Uh, as you can see, it's a little dirty. Uh, that is likely iron deposits in there and we're testing that right now with this Hawk DR900. Uh, basically, you put, you put a water sample in here, a clean, clean one, and you, you then zero it out. You then add a reagent. Uh, I've already done this and uh, that reagent reacts with the iron in the water. Uh, it turns a, a reddish, orangish co color. And uh, when the timer counts down, it reads the difference between the, the zero water and the, the colored water. And uh, it gives you a total parts per million of iron in the water. Uh, right now we're at 0.91, that's still got a minute to left, so it's probably gonna keep increasing for another minute or so. Uh, this meter here is a Pixis. Uh, it's hard to see with the daylight right now, but indoors it it's uh, that's a nice LCD screen. Um, looks really good. Uh, it tests uh, multiple functions. We test uh, conductivity. That's what I I'm looking right at now. You can see it's highlighted in blue. Maybe not. There we go. Um, I also test for PTSA in that. Uh, that is essentially a chemical or a. Um, something added to our, our main inhibitor and cooling towers and uh, we can test the parts per million very simply that way. Uh, we also do pH and um, ORP, that's uh, oxidation reduction potential that has to do with free chlorine um, if you're treating, treating towers that way. Um, and this here is just a little something I got on Amazon. It's uh, Most of our tests involve drop tests and it's pretty simple. It just keeps it spinning for you and, and lights it up. So this will be a lot better indoors. So you rinse your sample. You get five milliliters there. You drop in, that's a little magnet. And then this just spins it and lights it. And right now we're testing for sodium nitrite. So I'm going to add our fair run indicator. And then this is our nitrite titrant can solution. And this is just, uh, you subtract the first drop because uh, regular makeup water has, uh, has it in there. Uh, and you just count your drops. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Looks like it's about fifteen, so you subtract one. Oh, still goes back to orange. So one more, that'll be sixteen. So sixteen minus one is fifteen. Um, and you always want to make sure you hold it directly vertical up and down while doing the drop because that does the full full size so uh, this is a one drop equals 50 ppm so we got 15 so 15 times 50 uh, I do not remember my multiplication tables that high so I use a calculator 15 right. times 50 I don't trust equals my 750 either. so I got 750 ppm of sodium nitrite in this loop the iron should be done counting down now and we got 2.18, I'll round that up to 2.2. So iron for this loop is 2.2 ppm, and that is pretty high. Uh, so what, we, do you, what are you normally looking for? Uh, officially less than one, but uh, I like all my loops to be less than 0.5. Okay. So next we're gonna test copper. We're gonna do it the same way as the iron. You rinse your vial a few times. Three for good measure. And for everything, everything that you test, there's a line, and the water has a meniscus. That's a curved, curved uh, line at the bottom of the water line, or the top of the water line. You want the bottom of the meniscus to line up directly with your your line. So it's hard to see, but that's right there on the 10 milliliters. Drive your vial. And 
and we go to the test we're doing and we're doing copper now so we zero it out we get our copper reagent Give it a good shake. Dry it off. Put it back in. Start the timer. This is a two minute timer. So in two minutes we'll have our, our last reading. And so what we've got going here guys is uh, we've got a air cooled York inside of that <clears throat> enclosure there. So it's, I think this one's about 20 years old, having all kinds of issues. Uh, it's had several compressor changes. Uh, right now I've got a really high uh, evaporator approach of 10 degrees. So, and this, this is a new account for me. Uh, we just picked it up, it's our first time here today. We've been working on some of the automation. Uh, another company's having mechanical, so we're starting to go through it see what's going on I've got a uh, starter coil that's out I've got crankcase heaters out uh, I've got the pumps were really wacky on the balancing I've just it's just been one thing after another here as typically is when I first walk up to a new account for some reason uh, anyway so part of our goal here is um, they were really concerned about their water treatment plan and uh, what was uh, currently being used so uh, given the fact we started having the high approach uh, values, um, we wanted to, or the customer wanted to go ahead and get this testing done and see what our water loop looks like. Uh, so as he already said, we've got that really high, uh, uh, what is it, iron, he said? Yeah. A really high iron count. He's testing for copper now. And uh, yeah, this is the process. So one by one by one you know we'll slowly get this worked out and, and get it figured out we just got a few more seconds left here on the test still timing down um, and the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get another sample and uh, get, run a dip slide um, I'm gonna test for that, that will test for some biological activity in, inside the loop so with a test like that what are you looking for um, It, my meter said zero. I just wanted to compare it by eye, eyesight, and the, they do look pretty close. So there's zero copper in the loop, so that's good. Um, back to uh, the biological. Let me see if I have a picture. So this is a blank one. Uh, this side we test for the bacteria and this side tests for fungi. Here's a little guide that comes with it. Bacteria, if uh, you let it sit for a couple days, uh, if you have very little red dots, you know, you have less than a thousand, uh, all the way up to if it's completely covered, you got, that says 10 million, that's uh, uh, CTFU, that's colony forming uh, bacteria. I don't know if that's 100% correct. <laughs> <laughs> and then fungi at the bottom, uh, I actually have never uh, tested fungi. Um, fungi and mold, so that's where we're at with that. So I'm going to go get another sample to uh, test that because I'm out of it. Awesome. I appreciate it, man. Thanks to Aqualogic for uh, walking us through this. Uh, water treatment is definitely not by any means a specialty of mine. I know not near enough about it, but that's why I trust these guys. Uh, we do a lot of work with them here in Austin. So uh, appreciate you coming out. No problem.